In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the unboxing and a complete setup of your brother DCPL 2640DW laser printer. This printer prints only in the black color, it's not a color printer, and this can do the copy, print, and scan. So it has all the options. Let's start the unboxing and the setup of the printer. We get the ink toner that is here. So you can lift it and remove the ink toner. These are some setup manuals and other things for the subscription. Power cable is here. To remove the protective tape, lift it and remove it from here. So that's our printer. On the top we have the ADF tray. It can load up to 50 pages for copy or scanning. You also get the scanner bed. There's a display screen and some buttons here. Paper tray, it can hold up to 250 pages. And the print speed of the printer is about 36 pages per minute. So that's really fast. This is a wireless printer. So we will do complete setup. First we will install the ink toner. That is the start or setup ink toner. For that we have to open the front chamber. Remove this protective tape from here. Take the ink toner out of this plastic packaging. Remove the seal from both sides. You can just move it and it will automatically come out. Installation is simple. Look for the brother logo. It should be facing up. Chip should be facing up and the handle is facing forward just place it here slide it at an angle downwards and push it in once it is locked you can close it plug in the power cable at the back of the printer you also have option for the ethernet cable and that is for USB connection and the power cable will go on that end Switch on the printer, press the power button, take the paper tray out, it can completely come out, adjust the size for the letter size, adjust this section and load the plain paper. Go to the printer display panel. On the display panel we can see the main screen of the printer. Next step is to do the Wi-Fi setup of the printer. On the main screen click on the menu button. Now we have to look for the wireless settings so scroll down. Select network and press OK. You can use the wired LAN or you can use the WLAN Wi-Fi. Press OK. Select the first option, find network. Press this button to switch it on. It will search for the SSID that is your wireless routers. You just have to scroll and select your Wi-Fi network. Press OK. Enter the Wi-Fi password. You can use up and down buttons. You can see numbers, lowercase alphabets and then uppercase alphabets will come and then the special characters. So this way we can just select, press OK, go for next like this. We can enter the complete password of our printer and then press OK button to apply that. When you press and hold the OK button it will ask you to apply the setting yes printer is connected with the Wi-Fi network and also our green light will become stable it will not flash anymore that means printer is connected to the Wi-Fi and it is available on your Wi-Fi network press OK and click on the menu button or you can just go to the back and it will take you to the main screen of the printer 
Next step is to add this printer in a device for wireless printing and scanning. For example, I'm just going to use it with my iPhone. If you want to use it with the different devices, you can just download the drivers. And if you want to know how to do that setup, you can watch my video on that. Right now, I'm just going to use my iPhone. Download the Brother Mobile Connect app. You can download it from the App Store. In the app, we have to add this printer. Click on the printer icon on the top. Click on the add machine. Select the first option, register your machine. Once you see your printer, select it. Now make sure your smartphone is already on your home Wi-Fi network. Only then it will show up here. Skip. This is like the activation of the product. You can do it. I'm just skipping it. You can also enroll for the refresh EZ print subscription. So I'm just going to do it later. Skip again. And you will see printer is connected with the smartphone. Exit setup. It will take you to the brother website. If you want you can just go through some things here or you can go back to the app and you will see your printer with estimated level of ink and now we can start using it for wireless printing and scanning for example for printing we can click on the document or we can select any other thing we want to print and click on the print button Paper output is here. We can extend it up to here. So that is very simple. If you want to do the scanning, you can place the pages facing up on the ADF tray or you can also use the scanner bed. So right now I'm just going to use the ADF tray. Click on the scan icon that is here if you want to make any changes you can do that once you are ready click on the scan icon and it can scan up to 50 pages at once so that's a good thing scan is transferred if you want to add more pages you can do that or you can just click on the done and it will be saved in a particular location for that you can select from here if you want to make it jpeg pdf go to the settings and then you can just give the change for the file right now i'm just going to cancel it for copy very easy we can simply use the scanner bed or we can also use the adf tray you can place all the pages here for the copy then go to the printer display panel here we have to on the main screen just click on the start button and it will automatically start the copy process so printer is quite fast with the click of button it just starts to work let's check the copy result so here we can see the print quality is good if you want to print some rough pages and if you want to use the laser printer I think this is the best fast printer you can also do the scanning so lots of features are there overall it's a good printer for home use even in the office you can use it if you just want to print in the black and it is really fast hopefully this video will help you to set up the printer thanks for watching